tonight. Uh, the NCAA tournament resumes. Obviously, uh, the Sweet 16 is now underway, and Michigan State right now up four points on Kansas State in the uh, first game of the night. Michigan State, Rob, a seven seed. Now, they're obviously a, a strong program now, you know, year in, year out, but they're just a seven seed this year. And Kansas State's a three seed. So right now, they're uh, leading the charge uh, for an upset. We also got Arkansas and UConn tonight. Arkansas, eight. UConn, number four seed. Florida Atlantic, a nine seed versus Tennessee, a four seed. And then we talked to Tracy Murray, the U- UCLA grad, last night. Uh, and UCLA, the second, number two seed, they play third seeded Gonzaga in the night cap. And, Rob, if you notice, as I read off those seeds, I did it for a reason, a lot of them were low. Right. Nine seeds and, and four seeds. Four isn't seven that low, seed. but still, yeah, seven seed. And this has been a year uh, of some upsets. Um, the first time, Rob, since 1980 that at least one of these teams is not in the Sweet 16, and that would be Duke. Kansas, Kentucky, and North Carolina. That's, that's uh, the most successful programs of the last 40 years, right? And when you I say mean, that, UCLA Chris, used to be, but now it's though those are the top four. Right. And for you to say that, that this hasn't happened since 1980, that's a long time ago, more than a generation. Yep. It tells you about the changing of the guard. And uh, Tracy Murray talked about it with the – Transfer portal, Chris, and the I and the um, NAIL, the, the the name likeness and image and likeness, uh, um, you know, that has balanced out some people, and people can move on. They're not getting playing time. They were a right. big recruit. They were at a big school, but they're not playing. They so they, they might take go a step to a down. Major, right? right. Mid major, and now they're the man there. So right. so those right. things have happened, and. Um, you know, it's always, Chris, I, I think there's always good to have new blood, not the same old, same old, but it is kind of like to not have any of those in, in schools in it is weird. And I do want to see the ratings. I know they have been very good, and that's good for the NCAA uh, that these upsets have They've been know, the moved, best ever. Let which me, is give my you a of it. Uh The Sports Business Journal said the NCAA tournament's first round was the most watched first round ever. That that's mind boggling, Chris. Because uh, when when we were growing up, you didn't have many choices. No. And when I, you know, and and so you and you didn't have that many channels. So when you talk about, you know, the Magic uh, Bird. Bird game, that's still one of the highest rated sporting events ever. Like right. That and game, it's the most watched college game ever, ever. basketball game. And it'll always be, I it think, will. right? It it, will I think be. it'll always be because Chris, just, it was like thirty-five million. As you said, million, you didn't have right? any options. It's like and I don't know exactly. Million. Yeah, it was huge. It was but, a huge number, even yeah. for for. And back remember, then. our population as a nation wasn't as big as it is now. Right, but and, and, you had three channels. You had, had right. three major channels. Uh, cable was probably just Infancy. starting out. Right. Yeah, no, most people if you, didn't if have you cable. Remember, I didn't have cable growing up until I was. I want to say seventh grade. Wow. You know when I got cable, Chris? No lie. When I went to college, when I moved to Connecticut. That's pretty close. I mean, not, not even I would, joking. That's about when I, I, I you're what, about five years older than me? I'm four, five, five years five, older. Yeah, yep. that was when, when I was in seventh grade, around the yep. same time. Yep. I, yep. That was the first time we had I had cable TV. Uh, there was a big scandal in Queens growing up, like the borough president had some sort of uh, – Chris, he was holding the cable companies hostage because, you know, Queens has a lot of homes, like, right, you know, houses. Right, 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 right. And, and middle-class people, and so they wanted a payoff from the cable company. As soon as uh, Donald Manis committed suicide, we got cable like – it felt like the next so week. So the guy I mean, that was holding him hostage committed suicide? Yeah, found out. Wow. They found out about the scandal and everything, and he wound up committing suicide. Donald wow. Manis, he was the borough president for Queens. But anyway, my point was, I didn't see cable till I was in college. So I just had the four or five channels we all had. Yep, yep. And um, so uh, you're right. It, it, and, and some people say, well, it's on four stations. You know, CBS, True TV, TBS, TNT. But still, Rob, I still think back then they had the advantage because it was, 
there were three channels. So amazing that they've done this. And I think the, the, what we want to throw out eventually in a few, you know, a few minutes to our listeners is, do you, do you like the parody? Because Rob, there's always been that debate, right? It is a, is a dominant team or two or three better for a league uh, than just having parity, right? Where you where anybody's got a shot, and um, you know I always point to with the NBA in the seventies that was the most parity the NBA ever had. Uh, eight teams won it, won championships in that decade. Eight out of ten years, you know, it was a different champion, uh, and then in the 80s, Rob, the 70s was the worst era for the NBA, the worst decade for the NBA it, for various it was, reasons. It, it, it was, it was, there was drug was issues, Chris. Yeah. It was on tape delay for the championship. I remember, and this is no lie, Howard Cosell, you remember Chris had a segment on the radio called Howard Cosell, speaking of sports, Howard Cosell. <laughs> and he came on and he talked about, like the blue bloods of the NBA, Chris, were talking about, uh, breaking off from the NBA. That's how bad it was. Like they wanted in the to start. 70s? The, yeah, they wanted to start well, remember, their own so league. Where was was this while the ABA was in existence or what? Yes, but they were talking about this is before the merger, uh, and it was like the Knicks, the Celtics. You know, like uh, I'm trying to think who else. Uh, the, Lakers. the Lakers. You know, like those kind of franchises. We're talking about right. having their own league. I'm I'm gonna Google it uh, later. I never, find it. I've never even heard about that. But obviously, I mean, yeah, you had the ABA up until they merged in 76. Right. And half of the best players in the world were playing in the ABA. And so, like you said, the NBA, their uh, games were on tape delay. And so, and that was parody. And then in the 80s was the golden era that brought the league back and began its resurgence and its renaissance. And Rob, not only did there were, I believe, let's see, you had the, the Lakers, the Sixers, the Celtics, the and the Pistons. Only four teams won championships in the 80s, and only five reached the finals. Houston Amazing. was the other team. Like, so, so in a whole decade, only five teams reached the finals, and yet that was the golden era but, of but, the NBA. And recently, Golden State's been dominant. You had Cleveland meeting them in the playoffs. Those were, you know, it's been popular with with Golden State. So, you know, I've always felt like it. It the the history seems to show that while we like parity, we also maybe prefer a dominant team, a, a giant. But that, they have that to be good though. Be. They have to really be like people do want like that that juggernaut that team, even if it's to hate Chris. You know, like. Like, even if it's to hate to see them lose or try to, you know, like, right. there's, a, there's a part now, of that as well. I think Golden State, when Durant went there, they that became, was a little right. too much. That, you know, I mean, that that was a little too much. because it, And maybe it was the way it happened, Rob. You know what I mean? I mean, if they had just organically, I'm not even speaking against player empowerment, but obviously they recruited him. He wanted to go there, and it just seemed unfair. Um, but that, that, I don't know how great that was for the league. Um, cause I like seeing, you know, some of these great players spread out and then made the a best man, you know, win, uh, in the nineties, Rob, you had it. That was an era. Cause like I said, the eighties, we talk about magic and bird and all that, but very few other teams had a chance cause those were super teams. They were organically built, but they were right. super teams. Right. And then with in the 90s, it was like everybody had their team, right? Jordan had his team. Barkley had his team. Elijah Wine, Ewing, Ewing. Reggie Miller, uh, Carl Malone in Stockton. You know, like Ed, Clyde Drexler with Portland. Everybody had their squad. And then it was like, okay, who, who's really the boss? David Robinson with the Spurs. And Jordan was the boss. And... You know, so it was like you kind of had parody in it that it was like, okay, we got a superstar and all these different teams have a superstar, but Jordan dominated, so it became, but, you know, a dominant, you know. Right, I mean, one but, but during that time, team. though, you, you, you know, even though they won all the time, Chris, 
you know, like Ewing and them made a run. The, like, like there, there were teams that were good, the Pacers. That you like, thought could challenge them. That right, you thought could challenge yeah. them. It yeah. wasn't like, oh, the Knicks got no shot. Like, it wasn't like that. Oh, no. you th- Yeah, the Knicks were, I mean, that was, they were a rival, even though they never really they couldn't, beat they, Right, they never beat them, but they were a rival. rival. Right, Indiana was a rival. Yep. Um, and he was just, you know, he was just that good. And that's why he's pretty much universally recognized as the GOAT. 